another video. So today is day eight that I've been eating totally salt free, added sugar free, and oil free, which I never really ate any oil anyways. But I just wanted to talk about my experience so far and how I've been feeling and if I've noticed any changes eating this way. So that is what we're gonna be talking about today. So this whole experience so far has obviously been like a very big adjustment because I used to eat so much salt in my diet, I honestly could not even tell you how much it was, but I would put salt on everything because I was like, well, I'm eating whole plant foods, I'm eating low fat, I'm eating, you know, nothing like bad for me. And I honestly just didn't think that salt was bad for me and that I needed to cut it out of my diet. It was like my one vice, my one kryptonite that just, I always go to and I craved it so much. So obviously in the last seven days, I've had a lot of cravings for salt and I've tried to like hamper that by using salt-free seasonings and stuff like that, which they don't taste like salt. You know, they have a salty-ish taste, but it's not salt. It's like my body, you know, is still addicted to salt. Some people in the comments were saying that I, you know, I'm doing this just so that my food's really bland and so that I eat less and so that I lose weight. That's not the reason that I'm doing this. I'm doing this because I want to get back to the natural place where food actually does taste good in its normal state and that I'm eating the right amount of food because I'm eating it in its whole plant food state without any additives. So that I'm eating, you know, food for what it really is. Not that I'm like, oh, let's just make food super bland so that I don't eat as much. That's not why I'm doing this. I'm doing this because I really want to readjust my taste buds and tamper down the amount of salt that I eat and see what happens and see if I really can, you know, in 30 days, because they say that it takes 30 days to readjust your taste buds to not eating salt. I wanna see if in 30 days I actually do truly enjoy the taste of natural plant foods without any added sodium. So that's the reason that I'm doing this. And I think that, I mean, if you want to lose weight, this is the best way to do it because you're not over stimulating your taste buds with salt and sugar. And obviously none of us really eat oil, but you're not over stimulating your taste buds and you're eating food for what it really is. And honestly, like food, when you come from eating a ton of salt, it's not very interesting when you start eating it in a really natural way. Like it's just, there's not much you can do with it. You can put a bunch of seasonings in it, you can do all the stuff to it, but it's like, salt is such an appetite stimulant and it truly just brings the flavor out of everything. It's insane. I always kind of felt like I had, you know, a food addiction or I just really loved food so much and all that kind of stuff and I'm just like, I didn't, I just loved salt. Like, I, I think s food was just my vehicle to, you know, eat salt on. Like, eating food in its natural state for the last seven days has really just opened my eyes how totally addicted to salt I was. So, some things that I've noticed is I, I've noticed actually the first thing that I noticed was that my dark circles underneath my eyes looked so much better. And I asked Derek, I was like, does, do, does my face look better? Like, do my dark circles look like they're gone? He's like, yeah, that's really weird. They kind of do. And so I started actually looking into it and salt can actually be a huge factor in dark under eye circles. So that was weird. I've also noticed that I've obviously lost weight. Um, I think I lost like four pounds, but I do know that all of that is water weight. Like, obviously I know that it's not, I didn't lose four pounds of fat last week doing nothing. Obviously it's just water weight. And if I ate salt again, it would come back. But I do just feel much more like sucked in. <laughs> and um, I pee a lot, I pee a lot, a lot, I do. And <laughs> the other thing that I've really noticed is that my digestion is so, so good. I mean, it was always good. Like I would always go to the bathroom every day and I didn't have a problem with it, but it is so much better than it was before. And I didn't even think you could go to the bathroom that many times in a day, but it is like supercharged. I don't even know how to explain it, but I just, I have no issues going number dose. And like, I don't know. I think maybe it's because when you eat salt, it dehydrates. Um, something within you, you know, it's dehydrating so that it's not, things just don't flow through as, as good. I don't really know, but yeah. So 
those are the things that I've noticed so far and kind of my experience. I'm going to keep going, obviously. This is like 30 days, strictly no salt. July, we're going to see Mommy Tang and then we're going to Canada for a friend's wedding and then we're gonna be traveling and stuff, so I'm not gonna be able to be 100% salt free, but obviously I will do the best that I possibly can um, because this is the way that I'm gonna eat in the future. I'm not saying like I never said that I was never ever gonna eat salt again, but if whatever comes out of this is that I just eat teeny amounts of salt or maybe like one salt meal a week or who knows we're just gonna do this for 30 days and see how my taste buds adjust because i'm hoping that they adjust <laughs> it's not that the food is like really boring it's just that it's not as exciting without salt and i'm not gonna lie about it but it's definitely teaching me a lot of things about intuitive eating and you know just eating when I'm truly hungry and stopping when I'm truly full and not eating just for the pleasure of eating. So I hope that you guys learned something from this video. I know it was just kind of like a ramble rant or whatever, but tomorrow I'm gonna have another what I ate today video for you guys and I'll be doing more recipe videos. So post any recipes that you would like me to make salt free down below and I will make those for you guys and I'll see you very soon, bye.